Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video we're going to be doing a fire drill at my secondary school as well as looking at a fire alarm event that we got a call to while we were doing this drill at one of my school district's middle schools slash elementary schools. It's a combination both in one building. This drill is not going to be the best one I've shown at my school. I accidentally didn't record part of the drill and the whole thing was very rushed. It was around 9.27 a.m. when we were at the facilities yard when my school called facilities and said where were we to do the drill because we were supposed to be there to do the drill at 9.20 a.m. and this was 9.27 so we told them we completely forgot but we were on our way and we got here by around 9.40 to do the drill. Some of the staff members like the secretaries that are have some duties to perform in the drills were already waiting outside for us which I disagree with that's not how it would be in real life but either way we were late and we did still get here and did the drill but I just went and pulled the first pull station as quick as I could and then just as we were leaving this school we heard the fire trucks because they were just down the road in a brand new grocery store doing their walkthrough before they open when they got a call to go to the middle school at the same time that we got a call from the modern company to also go to that school so we got there just after they did they'd already shut the bells off but anyways i'll show and explain more of that later on in the video so let's get started with the drill doesn't sound like it I don't know how that happened.
By the way, guys, the fire recall on these elevators is not on any alarm. It's only on smoke detectors. Same with the fire doors and fire dampers, fire shutters, and the smoke smoke control system is all only controlled by smoke detectors, not pull stations. somehow is doing continuous. It's not doing temporal anymore. It's just It's weird. Yeah, because it's not synchronized. Yeah. It's almost like it's straight through because... Because they're not in sync. So nothing's in sync. I want no. to look at the shop so nobody's in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you though, that one is on continuous for sure. I went right beside it. These two in here are synchronized. I didn't really check much of the second floor, only the second floor in the addition. look at the second floor then I'll shut her down it's a warm one today don't want to keep them out too long yesterday was like 31 Celsius sounds good ish as good as it's gonna sound with no sink Synchronizing the signals, yeah. I know, how does that work? I'm just, I'm, I'm just telling my video now, we, we show up here and all the secretaries are already in their high viz, all are already waiting for people out there before we even got here. Yeah, it's not much of a drill, is it? If they're already there. That's why I'm saying we gotta be doing the surprise ones because this teaches them nothing. Yeah, they've had a few. This is why there's no air conditioning because we got we got it like this. Do they not realize there is some cooling, but it doesn't do anything when you leave all the doors open? Oh, I know. It's all mad at that, and then he turns around. Oh, the bird's in here still. Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, he's been in here since yesterday. I think he lives here now. Good thing we don't have beam detectors here, eh? 
once everything blew off down there. We should have just turned on the, the fans. I'm gonna suck the bird out. <laughs> suck them <laughs> right against the grate. That would really be the thing where you put all the heat in. Oh, for sure. But I think they shouldn't be leaving the doors open. Like, no. it's not doing any favors for the HVAC. It's warm in the office. I got it. This place doesn't have great air conditioning. It's not the whole building to begin with, but it certainly would work better if we didn't have the doors wide open. Not sure where our bird is. Oh, he's still, he's still up there. I'll put in some clips of yesterday of him flying around trying to get out. He's over there. Oh, it's above us. He's going back. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. He's got some skills. So now we got the call to go to this elementary slash middle school and they did they, the monitor company it was like an automated call and they didn't actually tell us any information so we didn't really know what we were going but we heard fire trucks so we were like oh god probably fire alarm and sure enough it was apparently a kid was doing some sort of crazy flips and somersaults and some acrobatic activities in the hallway and somehow pulled this pull station I call BS the kid pulled it on purpose there's no way he would have accidentally pulled that while flipping. And so is what happened is, according to the panel, keep in mind the time is off. This alarm happened at 9.03, and a second alarm happened at 9.18, so basically 15 minutes apart. So that time is off, but the actual 15-minute part of it is still correct. So the fire department responded and was going to reset the pull station but they were told it was one in the gym even though it wasn't i don't know why they didn't just look at what the enunciator said i'm not sure exactly what happened we weren't there yet but anyways fire department tried to reset a different pull station that wasn't actually pulled and they accidentally pulled it so the fire department set the fire alarms off a second time 15 minutes after the first one while trying to reset one that wasn't even pulled and uh, so that's why there's two different alarms at two different times Anyways, there's really not much to see here. We showed up after they already silenced it, so uh, I'll just show you the very limited clips of this. Someone pulled it in the gym first, and then? No, that was pulled, that alarm came first, and then it was that one after that. Okay. Okay, so that was interesting. So, pull, hallway first, and then? There you go. Okay guys, well that's going to be it for the fire drill at my school, as well as the false alarm at this school. Well, not really false alarm. People always call them false alarms. It's like, no, the system worked exactly how it was supposed to. Someone pulled it. That was out of its control. It did what it was supposed to do. So it wasn't a false alarm. It was a false puller from the gymnastics kid in the hallway. Um, I still call BS on that. There's no way someone accidentally did that, but whatever. Another thing is I'm sure I'll never ever hear the end of this until it's fixed. I know the synchronization at my school is non-existent, and no, a sync module won't fix it. It's a notifier system that supports system sensor devices, and there's already a sync module on the XP6 card. I don't know what else to tell you guys. We're in the process of fixing it. We've had three technicians out before. It's a more complicated setup, and problem than you may think it is not an easy fix it's not as easy just throwing on a sync module there's already sync modules so guys i'm sorry it's not synchronized i hate it too but complaining about it will not solve it any faster so i'm apol i'm apologizing for that 
Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to put those down below in the comment section. And if you do mind enjoying my videos and want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe. And if you're interested, make sure to check out my Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content, content posted earlier than you see it on the YouTube channel, that sort of thing. Alrighty, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.